soon as Piccadilly Circus is going well, I will introduce the second variation, Please Squeeze Me. I start by teaching chiming for the big strong note, the middle note, the squeeze note. And I start by teaching it with the four fingers rather than the thumb, which works a little bit differently. The fingers work this way, the thumb works this way. I start chiming. Big, long, repeated notes. Straightening the finger before playing it. Playing on the pad and rolling onto the tip. Gripping firmly and rolling to relax after playing. So we straighten the finger, we play on the pad, roll onto the tip to relax. And listening for a beautiful big sound. Walking in, little tiny steps inwards. caterpillar at the end of the fingertip. The thumb, it's still a matter of using this bottom joint on the thumb. Straighten the thumb and grip. I then introduce squeeze me. So we have one of the big squeezes that we've just been practicing with our chiming. And then we have a very small sound, which is just a pick of Piccadilly Circus that we've already learned. For the big sound, we want to lift the fingers well. The bigger the sound, the more lift. Grip and roll. And a little tiny one where we don't lift the finger because we want a small sound. Ready? And... very near the black notes, particularly with the three long fingers, fingers three, two, three and four, keeping the wrist up, not allowing the wrist to drop, keeping the elbow relaxed, ready, and waiting each time for the teacher or the parent to say the ready and, and lifting the finger on the and, ready, and, and getting ready quickly for the next note. Ready, and ready, with a twinkle hand here, not a hand stretched out. A relaxed hand is like that, with the thumb more or less immediately underneath the second finger. That is not very relaxed. There's a relaxed finger. I've played a relaxed hand. I've played finger two. Um, I take the whole hand down. I don't stretch the thumb out. Ready. And I take the whole hand down. Ready? And after teaching squeeze me, I teach please squeeze. One little tiny one and a big one. A little one. Get ready quickly for the next note. Ready? And Getting ready is only a little tiny stretch. I don't want to lift high for the first note because it's going to be very soft. Ready, and... But I'm going to lift high for the second note because it's a big one. Ready, and... And it's all right for all the fingers to lift. It doesn't have to be just finger four that lifts. All the fingers can lift. Ready, and... Next I will teach, please squeeze me, a little tiny one, a big singing one, and a little tiny one. Move quickly to get to the next note, in this case very near the black notes with finger three, uh, with finger four. Ready, and get ready quickly, ready, 
lift on the end. very difficult playing a small sound and a big sound and then a small sound. One of the most difficult things to do on the piano. I will at some stage set the child to play just the small ones, the pleas and the me, without the squeeze in the middle. We will practice pleas, me, please, me, just the little tiny ones. stretch for each finger with a lovely relaxed twinkle hand and then I will also again set just the chiming so we get used to the big sounds and I will alternate setting one week Please squeeze, and another week, please squeeze me, and another time, please me, and another time, chiming. When, as each of those little elements, please squeeze, squeeze me, is learnt and understood a little bit in the right hand, then I will immediately introduce it in the left hand. The left hand follows on a few lessons after the right hand. Learn it first reasonably well in the right hand and then put it straight into the left hand. Don't neglect the left hand, don't leave it until uh, much later. We want the left hand to be as strong as the right hand. <laughs> 